What's going on guys? So today we're going to be setting cam timing, basically prepping the top end and the bottom end uh, to either install the cylinder head or install the Vanos unit. So when you install the cylinder head, you want the camshafts to be at top dead center or locked in position like they are now. And you want the crankshaft to be at top dead center for cylinder number one. So if you were redoing your head gasket and you were rotating the crank around and you somehow forgot or you're going to set the crank at top dead, this is how you would do it. So basically you want to get top end and the bottom end both in time before you install the Venos or install the cylinder head. Tools we will be using 22 millimeter box end wrench. If you have a 22 millimeter socket with a driver that works as well, we're going to be using that to rotate the crankshaft. And a set of Vanos timing tools. More specifically, we will be using the flywheel lock pin and the cam locks to set the timing. All right, so basically what we're looking at here is the front of the motor. So your fan is right here, here's your water pump, your belts are all right here, alternator goes right here, all that good stuff. So your cylinder head should be right here. This one's apart. This is the uh, motor from the drop top that I'm going to be rebuilding. So, and more importantly, for setting to top dead, you're gonna be wanna looking at this, this ring right here. More specifically, a point on the ring right there, if you can see that little line. This little guy right here is your top dead center line, basically. So it's a mark on this ring that tells you when you're at top dead, and you need to line it up with that guy right there. So that is the block mark for the top dead center line. So as you can tell, the uh, TDC is a little bit off. Like now I have the mark over here, and you gotta basically just line it back up. We got a 22 millimeter box and wrench, you could use a 22 millimeter socket, anything basically. Depending on where your motor stops, this guy could be over here, it could be down on the bottom, it could be anywhere basically. So you gotta line it up to be lined perfectly with that mark and then that piston will be at top dead center. Cylinder one will be at top dead center, excuse me. So that's about lined up. So if you can tell from front on, that line right there and that line right there are perfectly in line. So that means that cylinder one is at TDC or the top of its stroke. If you have the cylinder head on and the Vanos unit on and it was timed correctly or it was you just pulling the motor apart, your cams will also be set at top dead center. From that point you can just put your cam locks on and then start working on the Vanos unit. So once this is all set up properly, you're going to want to install or reinstall the flywheel lock pin. And if you have your Vanos toolkit, that's this guy right here. Okay, so here we have the motor sideways, your oil filter housing here, your intake manifold would actually come up right about here with next to the cylinder head, so on this side of the motor. So if you see this little circle point right here, this is actually where the starter would be. The flywheel lock pin is on this little frame where it juts out, where the transmission bolts up. So here's one of the transmission bolts. The oil pan is right here. There's a little hole right on the inner side of this little section right here. So your flywheel lock pin will just slide right into that hole right there. Now if your motor is set to top dead center, there are little holes in the flywheel that will receive this pin. And as long as it's set to top dead center for cylinder one, it should just slide right in, you'll have no problems. The job of this is to keep the motor from rotating. So if you accidentally move something or the piston tries to move, this will prevent it from rotating. So it'll keep the motor locked at top dead center basically why it's called a lock pin. All right, so we set the block, set the bottom end to top dead center for cylinder one. Now, if you had all of your Venos unit stuff on, it was all bolted down, the crankshaft would turn this chain here, which would turn the Venos unit and also set it to top dead center, at which point you could put your cam locks on. But if you're installing the cylinder head, you don't have that physical connection, or if the Venos unit's off, you could spin this crankshaft all day and the chain would just rotate and these cams wouldn't go anywhere. So we're gonna have to set the cams to top dead center as well. So they're already set to top dead center. And we're gonna take the cam locks off and we're gonna mess up the timing. We're gonna take this guy this way, why not? There we go. Okay, so the bottom end is set to top dead. The top end is completely not set to top dead at all. So the cams are screwed up. Now we have to set them back to top dead, right? 
So if you'll notice as I rotate these cams around, on each there are basically this box end here, right? On three of the ends there's nothing. And on one of the ends on each cam there are dots. So on this cam, on the intake cam, the dots are going to be on this side. And the exhaust cam, the dots are going to be on this side, right here. So three of the sides don't have dots, one of the sides does have dots. So these dots are indicators of the side that needs to be up for when it needs to be set to top dead center. So you want to get them about as straight as you can. You don't have to get them perfectly straight. And that's a rough estimate of where they should be. Now how we're really going to lock these guys in is these guys, or cam locks. So these hold the cams in position, right? But these also hold the cams exactly at top dead center. You're going to want to make sure that they sit flush basically flush with the cylinder head. There we go. Flush or as flush as you can get them basically. So once you get the cam locks in you want to tighten them down and leave it. Leave it alone. That's it. You're timed. And that's basically it. So once those cam locks are on and tightened down the cams are set at top dead center for cylinder number one. Now when you get the top end timed and the bottom end timed, basically the whole motor is timed and then you can start installing the Vanos and all that good stuff. So basically before you put the cam blocks in, the only thing you have to do is take off uh, three of these valve cover studs. There's one right here, one right here, and you might even have to take off the one by the spark plug well for cylinder number six, but that's it. From there you just basically jimmy it and get it all setting correctly. It might take you a minute, I won't lie, this took me probably about two minutes off camera to get it set up correctly to get the cam locks to lock into each other. But once it's set, it's set, there's nothing more you have to do, just start installing all the Vano stuff. And if you're installing the cylinder head, time the motor before you put the head on and time the cams before you put the head on. These are interference motors, meaning the piston goes down and the valve opens occupying the same exact space that the piston was just in. So for instance, if you install the head with cylinder one at top dead center and like the exhaust cam with the valves open, the piston will touch the valve and that's bad. So that's why you have to set this to top dead center before you put the head on and set the block to top dead center before you put the head on. From that point, you just drop the cylinder head on. You'll have no interference issues. You'll have no clearance issues. Everything will just line right up. Not to mention when the cams are at top dead center, there are little cutouts on the camshaft that allow your tools to go down for the cylinder head bolts. So they basically need to be at top dead center for you to install or take off the head. Unless you take off the cams in which that's a whole nother, whole nother journey. So that's it. This motor is basically prepped, timed, and is ready to receive the Vanos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out my Vanos install video. I'll leave that link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep it fresh, and I will see you guys later. So with our cam locks, we're going to put them on and make sure it sits flush. Oh boy.